Hello, my producer, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a comment or ask a question at soulgarden.tv in the Taurus viewing room. I'll do my best to shout back or answer one week later. Well, it looks like it's cloudy and very pensive today for the Tauri. The moon is the ruling planet of the day, and the moon has now moved into Cancer, which means for the next 48 hours, Tauruses are processing how they feel about certain things. Now, the moon in Cancer in the third house, or house of intellect, means that you'll, it'll be easier than usual in the next two days to put your thumb on exactly how you feel. And once you can crystallize that word and find the perfect word for your feeling, you can communicate it. So this is a great transit for having important conversations with people, blogging, seeing your therapist, talking to your best friend forever, video blogging, getting things off your chest, because even by thinking through your mouth, you're going to be more clear. Now there's some other things or some topics that you may be processing under that transit. One, of course, deals with the sun in Aries. This month, Tauruses are weeding their soul garden. They're getting rid of their self-sabotage behaviors that keep them from going far. Remember last week, it was about identifying the weeds that you need to pull. In chapter two, it's about identifying how we can replace those weeds with good behaviors that won't hurt us. So we're planting flowers or looking to plant flowers where there were weeds in our soul garden. So that may be part of it of what you're doing in the background. But on top of that, Mars is showing some major uh, breakthrough today. Mars, remember I talked about yesterday, opposing Saturn retrograde in Virgo. Mars saying to Tauruses, put yourself out there in society. Do, act. If you want to be something out there, go do it. And Mars is putting a lot of pressure on you in the next 24 hours to do some sort of action that will raise your social status, how people see you in the world. That could be a new car. That could be a new job. That could be a new business title. That could be new friends, new pretty friends. It can be all sorts of things that are new in society that reflect your potential. Don't forget, though, Saturn retrograde in Virgo is saying at the same time, Go ahead and be anything you want in society, but do not betray what you want for a personal dream. So you can't go be something that you're really not on the inside is what it says. Then finally for our shout out, actually goes to Aphrodite, who asks the question in the Taurus room, the difference between a north node and a true north node, or a mean north node. Just so you know, true north node and mean north node are the same things. So you'll see mean and true all there all the time. Basically, a north node is a complicated equation. North nodes are developed on 18 and a half year transits around, around the sun, and they're moving in retrograde. So a north node, just generically on a chart, is a very, very rough calculation of where the nodes would be at the time of your particular birth. Mean and true nodes came about as technology progressed, and we realized that nodes in all planets actually wobble in their orbit. So with better scientific precision, we can actually find out that there's a specific degree that that node is in, and we can also determine now if it's direct or retrograde. The old north nodes were always just always retrograde. A true or mean node is not necessarily retrograde. It can be direct. So to answer your question, true and mean nodes are precise. A generic north node, north node is generic, basically, and based on the old calculation of astrology. How's that? All right, that's all we have, Aphrodite. And for everyone, for Shout Out Wednesday, see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So God.